Hello and welcome to Ula Tea Leaf Readings. My name is Lenore and tonight I'm going to read your tea leaves. This is a horoscope for Gemini. If Gemini is your solar, lunar, ascendant slash rising sign, then this is a message for you. Okay, let's get started. Okay, knock, knock, knock. Let's see. What do the tea leaves have in store for you, Gemini? And I'm just going to apologize. I am quite sick. <laughs> um, unfortunately, uh, it is just something that keeps happening. But I wanted to get this out and um, not skip too many readings here. So it might be a little short. All right, so we have double hearts right here. We have a heart and then we have one right here. Okay, and this is interesting. I really like this symbolism of the hearts, one being upside down, the other one being right side up. Um, and then when you flip it, it it's the same. So we have this beautiful um, balance and kind of um, flowing into each other, perfectly fitting against one another. And I think that you must have somebody in your life, and it doesn't have to be romantic. This could be a close relationship with a family member, a child, um, you know, a good friend. But there is a love that is unconditional. So a very rare kind of love, right? Not all of us get to experience um, a sense of, uh, you know, devotion, understanding, um, loyalty, and continued um, growth within relationship. And one that cannot be disturbed by much, right? Um, so I think that that's, you know, a beautiful, beautiful sign to start or a symbol to start this out. Um, you must be very, uh, I feel like when somebody has this kind of love in their life, especially if you have it from a young age, um, it's almost like you're more settled. You're more able to navigate relationships with other people. Um, there's a sense of confidence and knowing that, um, you know, you might not get if you don't receive that kind of um, understanding love and attentive love, that unconditional love um, when you're young, especially. But uh, if you've had relationships that have been traumatic or, you know, toxic or um, just even there's never that um, deep kind of commitment, right? And it's, you know, especially when, um, you know, the fundamental relationships that we have or even if we're viewing the other people having relationships like this, our family members, our parents, our grandparents, um, whatever, um, it becomes kind of the norm that people just don't ever get to that place. Um, this could also happen within, um, you know, relationships with, from parents with children, um, or we view other people having these relationships with their children when we're young. And it kind of sets us up for this, um, understanding that not, you know, not, all love is um, this unconditional. Um, there are so you know conditions and things that can um, well, you know, just I mean, with neglect or a lot of arguing, anger, um, people not you know uh, just taking off whatever it is. Um, it really does set you up to kind of. Even if it's, you know, way back in your subconscious, um, to think that these are normal behaviors 
and I mean, maybe they're normal, what, whatever normal means, but these are acceptable behaviors, I suppose I should say. And, um, so that can be kind of damaging and, you know, a lot of us, myself included, um, spend many, many years, um, in their adulthood trying to relieve themselves of these, uh, you know, kinds of conditionings. And it's, it's unfortunate, you know, um, And so, I feel that this relationship, if this is romantic or otherwise, um, with a parent or with your own child, I feel that for you, it's been very important um, in your work as a being, in your work as a, um, as a member of your family line, uh, to kind of break uh, cycles of, um, and how do I put this? I, I, not, it's not just necessarily breaking cycles of generational abuse, although that could be it. Um, but it could be breaking cycles of just, um, unhealthy coping mechanisms, unhealthy relationships, uh, unhealthy, um, unhealthy, my, sorry, my cat just meowed. Um, uh, but yes, okay, so breaking these unhealthy dynamics that have kind of come to be within your family line or, you know, within the community, the close community that you have. Um, because, you know, sometimes we're just taught to not share our emotions. We're taught not to be um, honest just, you know, have manners and don't express yourself or, you know, um, do what we say. Don't ask questions. Why these kinds of things. Okay. And I think that with your relationship that we're talking about, you have been able to kind of get away from some of those, um, implemented, uh, dynamics. And so it, it really has been your life's work in a lot of ways to, um, to heal those things, to heal those dynamics. And I'm going to go check this cat. <laughs> okay. And I do apologize for that. When my cats realize I've shut the door, <laughs> they start to go wild a bit. Um, and I want to I want to build upon this idea because we have the three of discs here, which in the Thoth um, deck, and this is from the Thoth deck, is the works card. And now this could be um, about business, work, um, you know, how you make money, how you earn money, of course. Um, really applying yourself to that, coming into a place of, uh, mastery and, um, being very focused, right? Um, I think that in this situation, this could also be applicable to that self-work that we we're talking about. I think that this has been a, a big, big, um, topic in your life. I think that you, you know, have, uh, maybe even from a younger age in your young adulthood, um, made the decision that you were going to change, um, you were going to change the trajectory of your family, of your, of your own life, of the community that you live in, that you were going to be that kind of, um, that, movement of change and you were going to be very intentional about it. And I think that, that all of that is coming into, um, focus right now, once again. And I think, you know, of course we can have, uh, we can do this kinds of, these kinds of work. And then we also, you know, kind of start to go off into our regular lives and work and go to school and have relationships. And then, um, as the seasons change, uh, return back to the, the work that was so important to us. And I want to look at this one in the middle. And this is such a beautiful figure in my, in my mind here. And this is a person, 
uh, holding a uh, blazing torch. And I think that it's just so much that you are lighting the way for um, yourself, for um, into those interior places, those, uh, you know, um, painful, traumatic places, if that was trauma in your own life or, and, and or um, trauma within uh, your family line, okay? That generational trauma that we all have, if we carry it in our DNA, if we carry it in the way that we uh, have been taught, or um, just, you know, the people around us that we have experienced carrying around great traumas. Um, and how they cope with those traumas, okay? And that really affects us. Uh, I will share for myself, um, there, you know, oh, my kitty cat is just really trying to <laughs> claw me up here. Um, in my own life, there was such uh, struggles within my family with addiction because there were so many unresolved and ongoing um situations, poverty, um, mental health issues, abuses of, you know, different kinds. And so, um, I had to decide for myself at some point that I was really going to work on, um, on abstinence from, you know, chemicals and drinking and this kind of thing, but also, uh, seeking, you know, mental health, help going to lots of kinds of therapies and um, changing the way that I am raising my own child and how I have my own family um, and deciding to do things that matter to me and that I love um, so that I am not you know, miserable all the time. Um, and don't get me wrong, I have my struggles, of course, but, um, you know, I just want to share that, you know, I think that, and my point really is that um, we all have our things, right? Everybody you meet has something they're struggling with or have struggled with or they will struggle with. And so um, I find it very heroic when uh, I come across people who really um, intentionally um, do the work so that they may change the frequency, the energy of their own life, of their own family, of their own community. And um, I mean, my goodness, just, you know, it takes only one, two generations to change the, the complete um, environment of a bloodline, of um, the dynamics of families. And that is such an amazing thing. Okay, now, I also want to talk about, um, and here we have a beautiful image of Titi. 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 We have a beautiful image of, it looks like two animals, almost, animal people. They're kind of in the posture of people, but they're sitting at this, it almost looks like um, they're sharing a dinner at a fireplace. Maybe they're cooking, and there's a beautiful moon above them. Okay, and I think, oh my goodness, what a beautiful image. Um, I believe that in your beautiful self-development, um, in your, uh, in your, in your travels in life, in your experiences in life, you have also made it um, your goal to be able to be more accepting and open-minded of people. I think that you are a person that has really learned to work with all kinds of people. I think that you have definitely learned to um, walk among diff many different kinds of subcultures, um, you know, groupings of people. Um, you are somebody who relates to a lot of different kinds of people. Uh, you respect and honor people. And so I believe that people find it easy to respect and honor you. Okay. And I think that there really is this very, um, strong sense of being somebody who can commune with all beings. And, 
I think that you have very often the best intentions for people. I think that, you know, we all fall short of our intentions once in a while, right? Um, so we don't beat ourselves up. But I think that you really are somebody, you're careful with your words, you're careful with um, the way that you treat people, the, um, you know, I could see you being somebody who would invite somebody in for a hot meal if they did not have one. Um, you go out of your way to really relate and make people feel at home, make people feel heard. And this, again, oh my gosh, what a rare and beautiful energy. I think it all makes sense, though because you have spent so much time trying to illuminate some of the harder aspects. And I think that maybe you have gone through some things or seen some things that have made you realize that a little bit of kindness goes a long way. Listening goes a long way. Um, you know, just being there for somebody in their time of need goes a long way. And I think you are also met with that same energy. Okay. And I, um, what a, you know, maybe I'm a little sentimental, but I think that, you know, it's such a glorious, glorious trait to have, um, and to strive for. And of course, we don't always feel like we're on point with those things. And sometimes we are confronted with um, people who are difficult, people who really just um, are at odds with our own personalities or our own situations, people that are somewhat antisocial and so on. Um, and you know, sometimes there's not a lot you can do with that. But I think that you always try to be understanding at least, okay? Um, now I want to go over here and look at, we have this Y right here. And I really, <laughs> my cat keeps, she's right on my shoulder. Um, so I think that this, maybe there's somebody with a U name. Really, what I kind of get from it is, TT, stop. You're going to hear her breathing in the microphone. She's putting her nose to it. I apologize. Um, I feel like this is a message that this, real, this time is really focused on you. This is about you. And there are elements that are outside of the physical that are really supporting you. And I feel like this could even be somebody who has passed. This could be a guardian angel. Um, and I think that they have really made themselves apparent to you in your dream life. Um, maybe uh, they have visited you in visit visions or in synchronicities. And so I think that, um, you know, pay attention to those things. Write them down and also take them to heart. You know, really take that good energy, that loving energy that is surrounding you and just soak it all up. You really deserve it. Okay. And now... My voice is getting, <laughs> um, I see two things here. We have a horse. Okay. But we also have an X. So I am thinking, and I'm trying to balance my cat here. So I'm sorry about that. Um, if I'm moving around a lot, um, I feel that there's somebody new that's been in your life, maybe. Um, and I feel like because the horse often to me either is like a, you know, a wild freedom. Um, it depends on the posture. But this one kind of, I think, really relates to this theme of work. Um, but this, I think, is somebody that you have been working with. Um, it could be at your actual job or maybe you're doing a project with them. And I think that you have grown a fondness for them. And if that is platonic or romantic, um, I think that, um, you know, it's, it's, has been a fun experience for you. Okay. Um, and I get the impression that 
maybe there's even like an element of and this is where the ex comes in i don't think that we're exing out this person but i feel like there's almost like a sense of jealousy going on with uh maybe an ex-partner or um somebody who you're with but you're not intending on staying with them or uh i almost think maybe like if you have children it's like the you know the co-parent that you have but they don't like your relationship with this person because I think that the work that you're doing with them or just when you're with them while you're doing the work you really um it's like almost a sense of glowing I think that you really uh just kind of are blooming around them like you just have a big smile you enjoy talking to them and when you bring that home with you um it makes this other person kind of jealous okay so i just would say watch out for that um you know be mindful of other people's reactions and um but just also enjoy yourself it's nice that you have somebody that you really relate to um and I want to look at, we have an age, a little tiny age. I think that that's somebody that's on your mind. We also have an L. Um, so I think that uh, we ha maybe this is uh, two different people. It could be the same person. But look for somebody with an L name, H name. Um, and I think that this is somebody you're thinking about because this is in that emotional psychic area. And um, I think that you know, they, you've been thinking about them quite a bit lately. Okay. And maybe check in with them. Okay. Now I'm going to get to this one here. We have a beautiful little bird right here. Um, and it looks like maybe there might be a little bit of, um, coming up against the wall a little bit maybe just a little bit of uh the universe interfering with your plans um but i think that you're really going to be able to um you know get past it or readjust realign pivot okay um this other one i see it looks like a little butcher's knife and some kind of meat or something or a vegetable um and i think that this is a good sign of uh you know coming into a place of success abundance and being very giving um kind of cutting that that um that success material success up and um giving some of that to loved ones or within your own family maybe donating to the community in some way um this could also be donating of your time and being of service okay um and i think in the next two weeks uh you're definitely going to Think that that I think in the next two weeks this is going to definitely be um, a good. There's going to be some really good news, and I think I almost kind of see in this this little shape here um, somebody who is like a good friend um, is going to have some good news. I don't think it's directly your news, but I think that you're going to be so happy for them. So maybe they're like getting married. Maybe they're um, you know. Uh, met somebody new maybe they're going to have a child or a grandchild something like this so um it, overall it's gonna be a really good couple of weeks coming up all right well thank you so much jim and i and i apologize for um i'm just really unfortunately so sick and my cat is just being a bit of a brat come here tt um, and I want to thank you so much for spending this time with me. I'm always so, so honored to be able to bring these messages to you. Um, if you would be so kind as to like the video, uh, it helps me get into the algorithm. Um, if you have not subscribed yet, think about subscribing, hitting the little bell thing, and uh, that will let you know when the next videos come out. Um, other than that, if you uh, would like to comment, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know how you're doing. Um, I love 
reading each and every comment and if it takes me a while to get to you it's just because we have so much going on and obviously i'm sick as well but you know i have a toddler and <laughs> a family and so i really i try to get to the messages often but sometimes i miss a few hours here and there okay thank you so much um we will see you again very soon